Hey, you guys, this is Tamaya Robles. I am the owner of Fix My Credit Now, E50.com. I am the host of this podcast, Coast to Coast Credit. Welcome, welcome. So, yeah, I am doing this video because I realized during the last video that I didn't, I've never done a video talking about the FTC. So, I'm going to walk y'all through how to file an FTC complaint. I'm going to show y'all the little, I guess it's a hack that I learned back during the pandemic. I don't think it's as effective anymore. Um, and then there's another feature on the FTC website that I wasn't aware of. I think this is new and we can go into that as well. Just so I'm not bombarding you guys with too much information, I'm going to divide this into three parts just so it's easy to absorb the information and you can pick and choose which one is best fitting for you. So let me share my screen with you and hop to it. So this one is uh, this is the FTC. It's FTC.gov. And when you get on here, it has a whole lot of information on it. Like I mentioned before, announcements. If you want to kind of just like learn the website, it's a pretty good um, website as far as I'm concerned. I, I think it's simple to the point. Some things might be a little confusing if you don't really know what you're doing. So we're just going to focus on basically the credit related stuff because I don't want to throw you off, but it does offer options, report fraud, get your free credit report, submit public comment, report identity theft, file a antitrust complaint, register for do not call. So we're going to click on report to the FTC. All right, now it's going to take you to the screen. Report fraud, tell us what happened, your next step, help stop fraud, and so on and so forth. Again, we don't snitch up in here, so just keep it with your own business and not everybody else's business. But yeah, this is pretty user friendly, so it seems, but they made so many changes to this website. Um, but this, this is what it looks like today. Service members, veterans, and military fam families report here. Now we're going to go here, report to help fight uh, fraud, and it takes you to the screen. With this screen, it in the corner, it shows identitytheft.gov. That's what I'm most familiar with. We'll get into that in other videos, so if you want to check the other video out, um, be sure to stay finish watching this one and then go to the next one. And then the do not call.gov. That's also new to this website. But here, let's just say you did a dispute letter or maybe you just want to dispute with the FTC only regarding your debt. This is These are your options. Um, it says, is your report about any of the common problems? These common problems. And when you click on each one, you'll see that additional information or options will pop up at the bottom. Um, it's for a reason because some situations the FTC is going to have to redirect you to somewhere else, another third party or another government entity. And you'll see that in a minute uh, for impersonator, fake government business, fake government business, love interest, grandchild, and then it gives you options. Um, job investment, you see how it keeps changing here. So just an annoying call. Yeah. <laughs> so when you click on it, it will take you somewhere else. But online shopping, some of this might apply to you. So that's why I'm like clicking on it just so you can see to what they cover. Now we're going to go into credit debt loan and then you see what pops up. What type of credit or debt issue was it? Credit repair, debt relief, including student loan debt, debt collection, credit card, credit reporting or banking, company charging fees to get a loan. We're going to actually click on all three just so you can get an idea. So credit repair, debt relief, including student loan debt. You want to hit click, you want to click on continue. Please share as much as you know, the details, help law enforcement investigations. Did you pay or send money? Let's say yes. Let's say it was $100. Let's 
how much money did you pay or send? How did you pay or send? Uh, I would say debit card. What is the, uh, okay, so when you put debit card, this is where, mind you, I'm going through this with y'all. <laughs> like, this is my first time. Uh, again, I didn't use this. This part wasn't out when I was using it. I'm old school. So I go to, I use the other section here, but you guys can use this if you want. I, again, I'm all about options. But anyway, we'll say debit card. Was this an automatic reoccurring charge? We're going to say no. When did you most recently pay or send money? Let's say, I don't know, the, around the holidays. Uh, how did you start? How did they first contact you? Where did you see an ad? Let's say a phone call. What was the number? Uh, two or five. And, uh, 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 uh. I just made up a phone number. Please select all telemarketing violations that apply. And, you know, I don't know, put whatever you want. Details about the company. Uh, did it, this is the name of the company, the name of the person you dealt with. Do you have any other information? You might not know any of this stuff. Describe what happened. And then you hit continue. All right. Your name and information. Boom. Okay, United States. Oh no, United States. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Type required landline. Nine two five eight zero. Okay. Boom. Okay. Let's pick out some stuff, and then you hit submit. I'm not going to submit this, okay? But this is what it looks like. This is a live version of what it looks like. Now, let's actually go backwards if it will allow us to go backwards. Yep, it does. So company charging fees to get a loan or credit card, you can report that. Now, usually if you're disputing on your credit report, you're going to typically click this or you used to. Now, when you get on the FTC and you get under this particular section, reportfraud.ftc.gov, it's going to send you to the CFPB. And as you can see, it's going to redirect you and you hit OK, boom, you're into the CFPB. I already did a video on the CFPB and how to file a CFPB complaint. I can do that again if you guys like, but... This is how you file an FTC complaint under reportfraud.ftc.gov. Um, again, that's not what I do, but I do want you to see that you can. But if you click this one, it's going to send you to the FTC. If you hit um, credit repair company charging fees to get a loan, that has nothing to do with what we're trying to do, which is fix our credit. But if you're in that situation, definitely click on it. But yeah, click on the next video if you want me to show you how I file an FTC complaint, the old-fashioned way, teach you whatever hack that um, I learned during the pandemic. It may or may not be effective today. I don't usually use it because everything I use right now works, so I don't need to go deeper. But I'll show you what I know and just click on the next video. Talk to you soon.